Oh, Colonial Tap House. Huh. What's going on, guys? Wellingham and Malcolm. What's up? What? Let me know when you're ready to order. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my sensors indicate that <laughs> you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. It's probably because my charisma is low. Uh, let's see what he's sure. got. Let's take a look. If you insist. Um, yeah, nothing I'm interested in, that's for sure. Hey, I, uh, need a minute. What's going on, Piper? Oh, look who it is. Don't you have a boot to polish somewhere? What? Hey, Wally. What you got for me? What's going Piper. on? Oh, I don't Never to show to your face yet again. Ooh. Nothing, you darling. Most so there's a rumor that Ann Cotton is offering good money for other people's hair. No. Hear it from me now. Don't you have a sewer to troll? Fine. I guess I'll go do that. Thanks, Wellie. Okay, so so he's kind of like an informant. So they act like they don't like each other. Okay, let's talk to Malcolm. That's all there is to it. <laughs> you bore me. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> Just remain quiet while you're up here. We get enough noise from the riffraff down below. Really. Oh, okay. Maybe... Here, let's try this. Let's, um, let's put on this suit that we've got and see if it makes any difference. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks way better, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. So, uh, it gives us two charisma, and then we're wearing this hat. That oh, gives us luck. Don't we have something else that would give us some charisma? A newsboy cap. Oh, yeah, that'll totally go with what we're wearing. Um, okay. Here we go. Let's see if this changes their opinion of us. Oh, we're still a low life. Maybe later. Oh, God, it's trying to think it over. Wow. Hey, give me a minute. Who's she talking to? Me or Wellingham? You really are hard to get rid of. Go away. Oh, okay. Alright, they don't like my suit. Piper, what's up? Do you want to talk to me? What's going on? You that trader up from Quincy? Oh, yeah. I don't have the ointment, sorry. Heads up. Just let me know. Hey, Piper. Cap for your thoughts? Um. Your thoughts? Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. Okay. Well, that was all I had. Okay. I thought that she wanted to talk to me. You just say the word. But I guess not. She doesn't want to talk to me. My heart is broken. What's this place? Codman Residence. Okay, so somebody lives here. Okay. Yo, this is the tap house. Let's check it out. Let's go into the tap house. The colonial tap house. So this is where the high class people go to enjoy their brewery. The brews. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Huh. Why don't you mind your own damn What's business for once? Oh, God. Hey oh, there, buddy. You always have to make a scene. You lost? Pour me another uh, lemonade. Damn it. Does Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll Lemon? be home. So I'm gonna take that as a... Can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to get involved. Ooh, knocked him down. Go on. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Darcy, taking care of our son. All right, what's going on in here? This individual is busy, all right? What's going on over here? Henry Cook. This individual is busy. What about this one? I think he wants to leave, but he can't because this guy's in his way, maybe. I 
can't seem to push him out of the way. There he goes. Okay, we need maybe we need for him to leave before we can um, interact with these people. Well, he's busy too. Get out of here, you bum. That's right. Don't come back. Sorry okay. I had to see that. Oh, here we go. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink if you're buying. Well, let's talk to him. What's that all about? What was that argument about? <laughs> uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. Yeah. You there! I haven't <laughs> seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? Oh, I see how it is. Come here often? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, you need to order anything? Is this your place? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Mm, well, let's I'll go and look. look. Sure. You never know. Bottoms up. Uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We should go back and pick up all of those Gwinnett brews we found in the brewery and sell them to him. Right? I'm sure we'd make a killing. All right, let's walk over here and talk to her. Hey. Isn't it fabulous? Sitting up here in the stands? Oh, you'll get addicted to it. Hmm. I guess we can't buy her a drink now. Now here is where you want to be. Anyone who's anyone drinks here. You got plenty of drinks on tap. Hmm. Huh. I guess I missed my chance to buy her a drink. Hmm. Huh. I'll take a look. Sure. Plenty on tap. Well, what happens if I buy something? Gosh. What's what's the cheapest thing he's got? Whoa. This Nuka Cola stuff is expensive. Damn. He sells shotgun shells. Um, sure. I'll have an ale. There, I bought an ale. No. Um, now what do I do? Accept. Yes. Okay. I bought a I bought a brew from him. Doesn't seem to make any difference at all. What's new, Cook? I hope you're drinking, because if you're not, well. I really can't help you. I bought something. Whatever. Screw you, pal. Don't need anything today. Well, we're always open. All right. What's going on over here? Nelson Latimer. Hi. Are you lost? No. Clarence Codman. Hi. <laughs> you just walked right up into the stands, didn't you? I like your stone. So the the high class people live in the stands. Feel that filth? Down in the lower houses? I wouldn't keep my worst Brahmin in one. Only good for lesser men who have no value. I see how it is. Hey there. You should have a drink. What good is it having a cocksure youth among us if we don't stiffen him up with some liquor? Uh, I'm older than you. You go on. Do what you like. That's how my family made their fortune, you know. No fear. No apology. Okay. Hey there. You again? Yeah, me. What? Prefer the company of old men? We have the benefit of years of experience, you know. <laughs> ah, don't mind me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm an important man. You better not be trying to waste my time. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother a man like me, okay? What are you going to do about it? If I wanted to talk to you, you'd know it. You want something? Listen up. Everyone wants something from me, so don't make a fool of yourself. Ahem. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother a man <coughs> like me, okay? You should have a drink. Okay. What good is it having a and cop among hey. us? Well, hello if we there. don't stiff him up Another with one some of the liquor. poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Damn. Poor and stupid? What the hell's going on in here? The poor and stupid? Oh, don't act like you don't know. 
There's two types of people in this town. The ones living in the stands and everyone beneath us. I know everyone in the stands and that doesn't include you. Now why don't you make yourself scarce? Damn, who the hell are you? Who are you anyway? Ann Codman. Hm. Of the Codman family? Of the upper stands? If you haven't heard of us, that just shows <laughs> how unimportant you are. Now, yep. are you leaving or not? No, I'm going to stand here and bother you. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm done talking to you. We called her a bitch. Mrs. Codman. What do you want? No, wait. I don't care. I'm a Codman, not some street rat. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. You're bothering me again? Yeah, I am. You again? Yep, still here. You're still here? Yep. Hi, Mrs. Codman. You're in my way. Oh, really? <sighs> wow, how many different things does she say? Go away now. Shoo. What do you want? No, wait. I don't care. Oh, hi. Who are you? I used to... Hey. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. We're all so, well, old. <laughs> you should meet my grandson. Oh, not that he would ever come up here. No, Hawthorne has too much of his mother in him. Hawthorne. We met a Hawthorne, I think. Eustace. My grandson calls himself Hawthorne, but it's really his last name. I'm Eustace Hawthorne, and his father was Julian Hawthorne. Okay. Hawthorne's mother was the adventurous type, too. She gave him such a lovely first name. It's a shame he doesn't go by. Yeah. Hey, Eustace. Oh, dear. You don't need to listen to an old woman prattle on about herself, do you? We're so parasitic, us older folks. We hate to see our children grow up. And hate it even more when they replace them. Okay. Hey, Eustace. Oh, don't let me keep you. I could talk all day and you'd be bored to pieces. Let me keep okay. I could talk all day and you'd be well, bored. Well, it was nice meeting all of you. I guess that's all there is to see in this place. So. Hi, Darcy. Don't be shy. Sit down and have a drink. Should I sit? Is that what I need to do? Do I need beer to sit? For, uh, beer or uh, maybe something a little stronger? Um. Let's see what you have. Plenty on tap. So, I mean, what good does it do to buy something from him? You know? Let's get a vodka from him. There, I bought it. What? I'm not... What, what do you mean cancel? What are you talking about? I bought... I already bought it. What, did I buy whiskey too? What the hell's going on? I don't know what's going on. Okay. It didn't seem to do anything. You're in the only spot worth going to around here. Okay. Well, I guess I can't really interact Howdy with these cook. people. You look like a man who could use another drink. No, I think I'm done. Or do I actually need to? Um. Not today. Let me know if that changes. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. Just wasted some caps. Come on, Piper. Let's go. Let's go back out to. Diamond City. People don't treat us like crap. Except for that guy, maybe. See who lives up here. This is the Latimer residence. Okay. Here is the Cook residence. He's the bartender. Alright. Let's see who lives up here. Ooh, the Hawthorne residence. Okay. So, are these the only people who live in the upper stands, I guess? Not a very big place. Hmm. Can we get, like, up on top? Like, where the lights are? Can we go up there? That'd be cool to get up there. I wonder I if there's a way. questions around town. What, Diamond City's got two private dicks now? Uh-huh. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I am curious about, uh... If we could get up there. 
don't remember seeing... That's me. I don't remember seeing any way to get up there from the press box up there. Huh. Um... Should we take the elevator back up to the top? Let's go, let's get the elevator back up to the top. Get it like an overview of the place. You're not gonna make it. See you later, Piper. Ha uh ha! -huh. Snooze you lose. See how long it takes before she disappears. Uh, she's fading away. Oh, there she is. Hmm. Let's see if he's still in here. Need something, honey? Housing? Doggone it, he's still in here. Get out of here. McDonough? I have somewhere to be. Sorry. Good. Go then. That's exactly what I want you to do. I want you to leave here. I don't think that we could make it over there. Well, shoot. Oh well. Um, yeah, well, at least we uh, got to take a look around the place, right? And, um... Saw a place we didn't see before when we were in Diamond City before, so... I guess that's pretty cool. Nice night, huh? Night? Is it night? I don't know. I don't know what time it is. Let's go back down this way. And, um... I don't know. I guess we could walk around Diamond City, see if there's like any way to get up from the outside, maybe? I don't know. It's funny, I said I was gonna go back up to the press box to look around and I didn't even do that, did I? Oh well. Whatever. Just walk on through the gate if you need to leave. Okay. Down inside. Uh anything I missed here. All right. Well, here we are. Wow, it's foggy out here. Gosh. Well, we got a traitor here. Ammo, weapons, and messy death. I Cricket. Got it all. Hey there. Come on, come on. Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. What's for sale? What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up close. But hot death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, my knees are getting weak just from thinking about it. Okay, let's see what let's she's see got. What you have. Guns, guns, and more guns. Just for you. Yeah, so she's got a compensated hardened piercing submachine gun. Interesting. Again, I just, I don't know. Don't see any reason to buy any of this stuff when I could just make it myself. Spray and pray is probably uh, a unique weapon because it's got a little star there. Bullets explode on impact doing 15 points area effect damage. Look how expensive that thing is. Shipment of springs. So I guess this would be a good place to come if like I did need a bunch of springs or something like that. It'd be a good place to get them quickly. Don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. Okay. Diamond City. There's a turret. What's this place? Oh, it's boarded up. Another turret. They got this place protected pretty well. Hello. Passing through. Just taking a little tour of the outside. Protected by the wall. Nothing to see here. Oh, there's not? Okay. Is this just a little guard post? Who was that? I heard people, somebody talking. Hmm. Well. Yeah, not, uh... Look at this place. What's going on in here? Anything interesting? We could take this stuff if we wanted to. Ooh, I want the Medex. And the Grey Knit Cap gives us some luck. Yeah, let's take it. Oh, there's a guy lying here. Security guy. So we're just basically taking stuff from security, it would seem. 
could sell sell these packs of cigarettes probably. All right. So, well, we found something. It's not too terribly interesting, but we did find it. If you wanted to make me a second printing press while you're at it. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got this leather chest piece. Standard. And we can't boil the leather because we're missing pieces of leather. Leather should be pretty easy to find, I would think. Yeah, we have some leather stuff. I'll start picking up some leather stuff and um, start dismantling it so that I could uh, upgrade this, this leather armor that I'm currently wearing. Well, it is uh, break time for me, uh, so I'm going to stop here. When we come back, uh, I might go ahead and just finish this um, ring around uh, Diamond City to see if there's any other little interesting places here to check out. And then after that, um, we'll probably take a look at our list of uh, quests and choose another one. So make sure you tune in for that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, won't you be so kind as to leave me a like? And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you'll join me again in the next episode.